Do you want to rotate an object on your slide using a button like this? Let's learn how to do that without coding skills in Active Presenter. After inserting the object, continue adding a button so that later on you can click on this button to rotate the above object. Customize this button as you want. While editing, we suggest you open the selection pane in the view tab to take control and rename the objects on the canvas more easily. Now, duplicate the image object. The duplicated one is image 6 in the selection pane, so I will rename it as image 0, equivalent to the 0 degree position on the canvas. With the other image, I will rename it as image 180, equivalent to 180 degree position on the canvas. Normally, to rotate an object, we will add a spin effect. However, this spin effect is a 360 degree spin like this. So in the next steps, let's apply some tricks to make this become a 180 degree spin effect. We will add a new interactive timeline besides the main timeline. Rename this timeline as 180. And in this timeline, we will customize the animations so that the spin will be a 180 degree spin effect. Now, add the spin effect for the object. Zoom in the timeline to edit better. As 180 is half of 360, we will place the play hat at the center of the animation bar like this. Then, we will add the exit and entrance animation effects to the object. The object here is image 0. And when previewing, you will see the rotation is 180 degree only. Go back to the main timeline. It's time you rotate the back layer image to the 180 degree position on the canvas. Then move the front layer object with the animations. Overlap the back layer object that has been rotated. Now it's time we added events and actions for the button. We will choose on click event start timeline 180 so that when we click this button, the timeline with the animations will be run and the object will rotate 180 degrees. Then add the change object state for the button so that the button will be disabled after the timeline is run. Finally, the result will be like this. The project is included in the description box for you to better check out. So don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more helpful e-learning tips. Goodbye!